So as you can see here, we're going to use this one in moles. We're not going to use molar concentration here. Oh no, this is molar concentration, sorry. So we're going to use molar concentration here, but you can use moles. Molar concentration is more useful. So as you can see here, we've got an, an equation. It's 2A plus B goes to and comes back to C. So this is a double arrow. So it says we've got an equilibrium system. At the beginning, we had three moles or three mole solution of A and a one mole solution of B. So we've got three moles of this, one mole of this. At the end, we measure one mole of A. The rest is unknown. So this is essentially what my diagram looks like at the moment. This is essentially what it should look like. This is what my ice table should look like. Ice table, initial change equilibrium, ice. This is my ice table. I start to fill it out. Well, initially I know I didn't add any C. So if it doesn't mention adding C, I assume zero. I assume nothing was added. I know that I had a two mole decrease here because I went from three to one. And given that this is 2x, because this is a two out the front and these are ones out the front, I know that these two must be negative one for B because it's on the same side and plus one for C because it's on the other side. Therefore, I should have zero and I should have one. And that is what my end concentrations are. So here's one for you to have a go at. So I've already filled in what you need to know on the ice table. I want you all to have a go at this now and see how you go. So it shouldn't take very long. It should take you no more than a minute or two. Um, I haven't even made a question for this. I've simply just given you an ice table with some values already put on the screen and you just need to fill in the blanks. That's all you need to do here is just go ahead and fill in the blanks. So have a go at this, three, two, one, pause. And hopefully you're back. So hopefully you had a go at this one and you didn't have too many issues. And I assume you shouldn't really have any issues with this stuff. So as you can see here, you should have just input different values into the screen. So as you can see, you should have had, this was negative. So this is also gonna be negative. They're both ones. So cool, don't need to change it. This is also a one, but you're gonna add it. So therefore you then do the maths. Very simple. You have your calculator in there, so feel free to use your calculator. This shouldn't take you very long. So I've already input all the values for you. This is the sort of question that shouldn't take you more than, as I said, I gave you two or three minutes realistically, but I think you should only be using one. Um, pretty straightforward sort of stuff. So now that we have these values from our ice table, where can we use them? Well, we can use them in our equilibrium constant, which is K. Now, our equilibrium constant, as we discussed earlier on, is our statistical measure of how far our equilibrium system goes to one side. So it goes to the reactants or the products. How far does it go? Well, realistically, it's just discussing where it is on the spectrum. So when we discuss this, we use a K value and our K value is determined with this nice little equation here. You need to know this equation. You need to write this equation down whenever you use it. And I mean that. I mean you will write this equation down every time you use it. This does not mean you're going to write K equals C, D, A, B. You are going to write what is given in your equation. So if you're on that last one here, you would be writing K equals, and then you would be doing I3. So you'd be doing I3. So I can probably do this. It's not very, not going to be very nice, but we'll do it to the best of my ability. So this is going to be I3. Now there is no coefficient, so I'm not going to have any power. There's no coefficients at all on this. So there's going to be no powers, which is a little bit boring. I would then do I2 underneath multiplied by I negative. And this should have been negative up here as well. That I would write down. If I, even if I'm going to do this calculation and I'm going to do it on my calculator, I'm going to write this down first. This is where one of my marks is. You must always, always, always write down your equation for your K value. So as you can see,